I am a visionary and I am born to create change. My desire for my preferred future is higher than my resistance to the work it requires. And by the strength of God, I have what it takes to birth and build out my future possibilities. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, hi, hi. Please feel free to subscribe and join the family. My name is Olapeo and this is Olapeo's Hub, a place for young minds who are looking out to become better versions of themselves and grow their influence and impact. So I really don't even know what to title today's video but I'm gonna try as much as possible to to just like pour out my heart. Today's video is going to be talking about something that we really need to call our attention to. If we are looking out to become better versions of ourselves, if we are looking out to grow our impact and influence, we really need to sit down and talk about this. So sit down, grab a glass of juice or cold water if you like, and let's have this discussion. I read a declaration from my favorite declaration book, God's Rising Star by Didi K. Yeah, that's my favorite by Didi K. And it says that I'm a visionary and my desire for this is higher than my resistance to work. This brings me to the, I don't even have a topic I, I, right now. I don't have a topic, but this brings me to what we're going to have to discuss today. You know, we've listened to so much acquire to perspire to respire to require to that we are gradually losing the essentials. How do I mean? We listen to speakers and <laughs> we call them motivational speakers. So let me just be nice. So we listen to speakers and then we hear all of those speak your positive words, speak positive words to yourself. Look at where you want to be. Picture yourself. Speak those words. Cut out pictures. Look at them. You know, get your vision board. Look at your vision board. Speak positive words to yourself. Love yourself hard. So there's so much emphasis on speaking the words. There's so much emphasis on loving yourself. There's so much emphasis on cutting the picture and putting it right beside your bed frame so you can see it every night and every morning when you wake up. But we hear less emphasis on the work. Like, who did this to us really? Like, how did we get here? How do we expect to speak words and not do the work? I mean, the words don't have hearts. The words are legit spirits <laughs> they require our work like these words need to mix with our work for us to see results so i don't understand how we got here but let me just become i will even start with this vision burning thing so we we cut picture i want to be like ddk so i get a picture of how on instagram i take it to the cyber cup i print it i cut it out and I put it beside my bed frame and I put words. I'm gonna be like DDK. I'm gonna be a visionary. You know what? I'm only going to sleep, wake up, do those declarations, and I will find out that in the next five years, I still have those words in my declaration because I never became. See, vision boarding is not really about cutting the picture. The real vision boarding is the process that takes you to that picture that vision body the process that takes you to that picture am i saying you shouldn't cut pictures of course cut the picture because what you behold you become but behind what you behold you become there's a lot of work that goes on there that's why even when you say you should meditate on something meditation doesn't stop when you read there's a place of you closing and you begin to mutter, you begin to mutter, you begin to imagine, you begin to mutter those words. It's the same thing for whatever I want to become in this life. It's not enough for us to speak words. So it's just like you want to plant beans and you be like, okay, I can just declare, I can just declare right. So you just go to the soil and you start declaring words on the soil when you didn't plant seed. I don't understand. Like, I, do you expect soil to grow? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding. <laughs> but really that's what we do so 
we are so fixated on speaking words we are so fixated on confessing we are so fixated on just our vision board that we forget our own place our place of doing the work nobody is going to do the work for us nobody is going to do the work for you you're going to do the work for yourself because that picture of you that you've seen and you want to become you have to become it so you have to do the work and nobody will do the work for it you. has never become so alarming that we have we've become so comfortable in this thing so it's just not just an example someone can just come on instagram one morning and say i am a proverbs 31 woman i am like deborah i am the second version of ruth i am the younger sister of naomi and it's just so ridiculous because these people that you're referring to they never saw their life as special they only lived out what they thought was good and then it became unique to us that we wanted to replicate it especially for the Proverbs 31 woman and even Ruth in scriptures and even Deborah let me start with Proverbs 31 woman she only did what she thought was good she only lived her life the way she thought a woman a wife should live her life and then people took recognition of that and like this woman they wrote about her they gave her a name she didn't give herself the name she didn't clamor for the name she didn't clamor for the old chapter she was just living her life look at ruth ruth never knew that she was going to be in the lineage of jesus right but she was just living her life like how can I just leave this old woman because her son is dead and then I don't have anything to do. I'll, let me just stay there. She was just living her life. And then we are making reference to the lives they live because we find it unique. So how are you living your life? That people will find it unique and they will now attribute that name to you. You can call yourself Proverbs 31 woman from now to tomorrow. But if you're not putting in the work, if you don't even look like the Proverbs 31 woman in your work and your doings and your speakings you are the only one that will call yourself the proverbs 31 woman nobody else will call you and don't forget even your name that is your name you don't call yourself it is people that call you that name that validate that that is your name so this is what i'm saying confession you see confession declaration these things are good these are words that we speak but they are spiritual they are spirit they need to mix with our work so that we can see results right this brings me to my next point that we this is where the place of self-evaluation comes in i know that you have your declarations that you make every morning i know you have your confessions but if you actually have self-evaluation you should be able to see that hmm, i've been confessing this thing for the past two years and i've not seen the result why am i not seeing the result it means i'm not putting in the work that's what to do self-evaluation is very important you need to be able to evaluate yourself am i putting in the work for the kind of future i want to see the kind of future i want to see requires that i read so much how many books have i read in this month how many books have i read in this quarter this future of me that i'm seeing it requires me that i follow some people closely how closely do i follow these people do i even know the last event that they hosted do i even know the last event that they they, they had a speaking do i even know the last book that they wrote but these are the ways you put in the work right it's not uh, we even now spoil it proverbs 31 woman we are not chasing another person like not put Proverbs 31 in our status, but she's living the life of God. We are not chasing that to mentor you. We don't want to pay. Ah, no. We need to put in the work. Our money needs to go into this thing. Our money needs to go into it. Our time needs to go into it. Our resources. Our body. We need to be all the right. And this brings me to my next point. Self-love. I know that they told us a lot about self-love. You need to love yourself. You need to uh, take care of yourself. Yes, it's true. Take care of yourself because if you don't take care of you, nobody will take care of you the way you will take care of you. And if you don't take care of you, you're going to lose you and you will no longer exist. So you need you to take care of you. But there's a line. I mean, if we don't need to take this thing to the extreme. 
you should know when to love yourself and you should know when to stretch yourself if you keep loving yourself if you keep pampering yourself without knowing the time when to put in the work without knowing the time when to stretch yourself you're going to remain where you are because the only way we can become is by stretching the only way we can become is by growing and before you can grow you have to stretch you can't have the same mindset you had last year and you want to see a different result it's not possible we've taken this self-love to the extreme that we now look down on things that are valid for instance we've overhyped mental health so we now find it difficult to take feedbacks from our bosses we find it difficult to take hard feedbacks from our friends from our colleagues from our bosses at work just because we have self-love just because we are having some mental health awareness whatever if you have this i'm not saying that mental health awareness or mental health whatever is bad that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that you should know when to shut it down what i'm saying is that you should know when to activate it and when to deactivate it because really you will lose your job if you feel like anytime your boss is trying to see that you can become better and she's trying to give you a hard feedback that will stretch you that will challenge you and all you're seeing is that your boss is difficult uh uh no we can you, you can be better really you can be better right we can be better i feel like i've said so much already i don't know please i hope that you just love this video i hope you've learned one or two things i hope you're going to sit back and just really evaluate your life and see where you need to make adjustments we don't need excesses really we don't need excesses we need self-love but we don't need it in excess we need our mental health to be in place but we don't need it in excess even though we're going to remain dormant we need to work we need to put in the work so that when the result comes we can beat our chest and say we put in the work for this all right ah i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned one or two things from this if you really love this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please subscribe already if you have something you want me to talk about please drop it right in the comment section i'll be right there to respond to it if you have any contribution or you just want to say one or two things about this remember i said i wanted to be a conversation please put it in the comment section as well i'll be right there to respond to all of your comments and until i see you in my next video it's bye for now bye